Hi everyone. We are doing math today, Wednesday, March 3rd. Uh, the pages you're going to need are in your math book, page 325, 326, 327, 328. And we are going to be learning about missing add-ins. And what that means is, here, let's go back so you can see again what you're going to need. I'm going a little fast. 325 and the back, 327 and the back. Okay? So get that out and get ready. Missing add-ins means like 7 minus what equals 3? 7 minus what equals 3? And to find this missing number, we can think what plus 3 equals 7, okay? Or we can take 7 minus 3, which is a count back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. We can think of fact families to help us, okay? Or we can do it this way. Let me get my cubes out. Oh yeah, you're gonna need some kind of cubes or counters or Cheerios or something you can count. So you can pause me and find that now. Something you can count with. I'm gonna use blocks. Okay, I have seven blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the parts to seven are three, and we don't know the other part. So the parts to seven, if we take away three, we're going to have four left. So the parts to seven in this problem are three and four. So if you put three and four together, you get seven. So Seven, we know, we know seven is the whole. The parts are three. So if we take away three, the other part is four. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to start with this page with the purple butterfly. Okay. The whole is 11. Where's my pen? The hole is 11. This butterfly has seven spots on the left wing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven spots on the left wing. We don't know how many he has over here, but we know there's 11 total. So to find the other part, 11 is the whole. Seven is one part. What's the other part? So to find the whole, we start with 11 as our whole. So let's get out 11 counters or blocks or Cheerios or whatever you're using. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is our whole. One part is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we take 7 away, we have 4 left. So this butterfly had seven spots on one wing and four spots on the other. Four plus seven is 11. 11 minus four is seven. 11 minus seven is four. So when we do subtraction, we're starting with the whole, the big number, and we're breaking it up into two parts. So addition was part, part, whole. Subtraction is whole, part, part, okay? All right, let's go to the next page. So now we have the whole is 12. So find 12 of blocks or Cheerios or counters. The whole is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The whole is 12. And we, we know one part is seven. So we're going to take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have 
five left. So in this problem, the parts to 12 are seven and five. Seven plus five equals 12. 12 minus seven equals five. So in the first one, seven plus five is 12. It's part, part, whole. That's addition. The second part is 12 take away seven is five. So the second part is whole, part, part. So we're subtracting, okay? All right, let's try number three. The whole is 10, so let's find 10 of something. Okay, I have 10. We know one part is four, so if we take away four, the other part is six. I'm going to check my work. Is 4 plus 6 10? Yep. 4 plus 6 is 10, so 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, we started with the whole is 10. We took away 4. <laughs> the other part is 6. Addition and subtraction go hand in hand. So this is addition, four plus six. Takeaway is you start with a whole and take away uh, four and we get six. Okay, all right, 14. Fourteen, find 14 of something. Okay, I have 14. 14 is the whole. One part is six. What's the other part? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 14 is the whole. We can break it into two parts, six and eight. That's takeaway. So eight plus six is 14. 14 minus six is eight. 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 minus 6 is 8, 14 minus 8 is 6. Addition and subtraction go hand in hand. If you know one, you know the other. Okay, 8 plus what equals 9? We're going to start with the whole, which is 9. We're going to start with the whole, which is 9, and we're going to take away 8. So the parts to 9 are 8 and 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, so 9 minus 1, sorry, minus 1 is 8. Sorry, that's not what it says. 9 minus 8 is 1. That's a partner fact, right? It's part of a fact family. If 8 plus 1 is 9, then 9 minus 8 is 1. Okay. Our whole is 11 on the next one. Eleven minus three. There's eleven. The parts to eleven are three. If and if we take away three, we have eight left over. Eight plus three is eleven, so eleven minus three is eight. So eleven minus three is eight. To check it, is eight plus three eleven? Eight plus three is eleven. Okay. I'm going to have you try 7, 8, 9, and 10 by yourself. So pause me, and you're going to try 7, 8, 9, and 10 all by yourself. And then we will check it. I want to see if you can do it on your own. So pause me, try it, and bring me back. Okay. Okay. The whole is 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 
sometimes these stick together, guys. 13. We're going to take away 7. We know that one part is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 6 left. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 13 minus 7 is 6. If you got that right, go whoop, whoop. Our hole is 15, so now we're going to start with 15. Fifteen, and we're going to take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The part to fifteen is six, and the missing add end. And remember, add end is the two numbers that are put together when you add are called add ends. So we knew one add end was six. What's the other add end? Nine. If we take away 6 from 15, we get 9. So the parts to 9 are 6 and 9. 15 minus 6 is 9. 15 minus 6 is 9. If you got that right, go, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, down here, we're going to start with 17. Ooh, I keep having to get more. more blocks guys 17 okay I have 17 I'm going to take away 9 because I know one part is 9 took away 9 I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 left 9 oh I'm over here 9 plus 8 is 17 17 minus 8 17 minus 9 is 8. 17 minus 8 is 9. The parts to 17 are 9 and 8. 17 minus 9 is 8. If you got that right, go, yeah. 9 plus what is 16? We have a missing add in. 9 plus what is 16? So now we're going to start with 16. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. Take away 9. The parts to 16 are 9 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 and 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 minus 16 minus 9 is 7. 16 minus 7 is 9. The parts to 9 are 9 and 7. So 16 minus 9 is 7. If you got that right, go, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, all right, next page. We're going to underline what we know. Max has five shovels and some sand pails at the beach. He has 14 shovels and sand pails in all. So we have 14 as our hole. Oh, I'm going to change that. 14 is our hole. We know that he has five shovels. We don't know how many sand pails, pails he has. So that's our missing add end. So we are going to try to figure out what number goes here. So we have five plus what equals 14. We're going to find out how many sand pails he has if all together he has 14. So we're going to start with 14. So we have 14, oh shoot, we have 14, and we're going to take away 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the parts to 14 are 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
The parts to 14 are five and nine. So how many sand pills does he have? Nine. We started with 14. We took away five and that gives us nine. So the parts to 14 are five and nine. If we put them together, we get 14. Okay. When I am added to seven, the sum is the same as eight plus four. Okay, so eight plus four is 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. When I am added to seven, blank plus seven equals 12. When I am added to seven, my answer is 12. So we're gonna start with 12 as the whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna start with 12 as the whole. We know one part is seven, so if we take away seven, we're going to have five left over, five. When I am added to seven, I get the answer of 12. Five plus seven is 12. How do you use subtraction to find a missing add-in in an addition problem? Explain. So we're going to explain in writing what we've been doing. Subtract the known add-in from the sum. We have been subtracting or subtract the known add-in or the number that we know from the sum or answer. We will subtract the known addend from the sum or answer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here's what we do. we've been doing. We've been subtracting seven or the known number. So if we know one part is seven, so we start with 12, we subtract the known add-end, which was seven, from the sum, which was 12, and we got the answer, five. So how do you use subtraction to find a missing add-end in an addition problem? Subtract the known add-end from the sum. So the sum was 12. We took away the known add-end in the last problem, which was seven, and we got five. So I'll write that down, please. Okay. Um, we pretty much did all this together, so you don't have to upload anything for math today. Um, the next page is homework. You don't have to do it, my homework, but it would be good practice. But if you do it, you don't need to send it in. But Justin, I would like for you to do it. So um, try it and see, but you don't have to send it in, okay? All right, that is all for math for today, but tomorrow we're gonna do more on this. So I will see you for math tomorrow. Thank you. You did a good job. Bye.